What's going on, doll fans? It is your boy Dylan, and I wasn't gonna make, I wasn't planning to make a video uh, today. I mean, you know, I made my video yesterday. I was kind of, you know, feeling it, kind of compelled to to make a video and talk about my favorite team and you know how things are going and stuff like that. But anyway, you know, fast forward to today. You know, I might have considered making a video after the Philly game, um, which I still might do. Uh, you know, our game tonight on Sunday Night Football, but I wanted to make a quick video because of a particular result after the early round of games for this Sunday slate, and that is because the Buffalo Bills lost to the New England Patriots in Foxborough, which is absolutely fucking amazing because that means that the Dolphins take a two-game lead in the division before we even play football tonight. So technically, you know, God forbid, if we were to lose tonight, knock on wood and all that stuff, if we were to lose tonight, we would still be in first place um, in the division. We would still have a lead in the division. But obviously we need to get the win. I think we're going to get the win um, tonight. And so, you know, TBD, because that's a little bit later this evening, but great, great, great news. And Interestingly enough, so the, the Chiefs right now are currently playing the Chargers. And if the Chargers can find a way to pull out that win. So the Bills, after their loss to the Patriots, they dropped to four and three. We're currently five and one. So again, even if we man even if for some reason we lose tonight, we'll still have a lead in the division. Um the Patriots are now two and five, still fourth place in the division. Not like they're really going to make a run for things. But they did help us out by getting that win today. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so Bills dropped to 4-3. and three. Patriots are now 2-5. and five. If the Chiefs were to lose tonight to the Chargers, the Chargers would only go up to 3-3. Three and three, So they still got some work to do to win their division over the Chiefs to get to the playoffs as a wild card. Um, and I just don't think... You know, Justin Herbert's all that clutch. So, you know, I, I wouldn't bet on him to win a game. Uh, you know, anyway, whatever. I digress. So, but if they can manage to find a way to beat the Chiefs tonight, the Chiefs would drop to 5-2. and two, And if the Dolphins can manage to get their win tonight over the Eagles, who would then drop to 5-2 and two as well, the Dolphins would go to 6-1. and one, And we would have a three-game lead over the Bills in the division, and we would be in sole possession of the number one seed in the AFC after week seven. Now, obviously, it's just after week seven, and there's still a lot of football left to be played, but the point I, the reason why I talk about it is simply because, you know, you, you, you like I said in my video yesterday, I get that getting to and winning the Super Bowl is the ultimate goal, and I think that this team can and will get there. But you have to get there. And that means you have to take care of business now. And I talked a lot about in my video yesterday about getting the number one seed and how important that is and, and home field advantage in the playoffs and the, the first round by and all that stuff. Look, I expect the Chiefs to win, to be fair. So obviously then that would mean that the Dolphins need to get a win in Philly in order to keep pace with the Chiefs battling it out for that number one seed. But if the Chargers, and the Chargers are a team that could potentially beat them. You know, it's a division rival, you know, blah, blah, blah. I think they're in LA right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh no, they're in Arrowhead. Never mind, excuse me. So it is it is a home game for the Chiefs, but, you know, nevertheless, if they can manage to get that win, that would help us out too. And that's just best case scenario for the Dolphins after week seven. Um if it were to all play out that way, right? And, you know, the early stretch of games, we got a W by the Bills losing and the Patriots winning. So first step out of the way, now we need to uh, watch the Chiefs game and hopefully the Chargers can get a dub there. And then obviously we have our game in Philly against the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday night football to cap everything. And if we can get the win there, then like as I just mentioned, we will be in 
fabulous position after week seven. And again, with the way I love that we have the, the bye in week 10, we'll play the Chiefs in Germany in a couple weeks. Next week, we play the Patriots in Miami. So that, you know, you don't want to overlook anybody and stuff, but that should be a win that the Dolphins should be able to get relatively easy. Um, you know, I know people will be like, well, look, dude, the Bills just lost. Dude. That's the Bills, bro. They're having their issues. We're fucking high rolling, and we need to keep that shit going by getting the win tonight because then we look to be set up really good going into our bye. At worst, we would be 7-2 and two if we would have, you know, provided we win tonight and win against the Patriots next week, we would be 7-2 and two if we lost to the Chiefs in Germany. 8-1 and one going into the bye if we get the win there. And I expect Ramsey to be back for that Chiefs game. Then we go into the bye. Coming out of the bye, we get um, uh, Zay, uh, um, Ter Teron Armstead and Devon Achan back. Bro, we could be looking to be in just golden position to just take over the AFC not just the division, run away with the division and take over the AFC and get that number one seed. So anyway, I'm going to get back to watching the Chargers game. I just wanted to make a quick video on, on the early results of week seven because it is amazing and turning out great for the Finns. It was wonderful to watch the Bills struggle the way they did. And it's great knowing that we do have a two game lead right now. So that way, you know, we have a little bit of cushion going into this game against the, the Philadelphia Eagles. So anyway, with that, let me wrap this up, get out of here, and fins up, guys. Let's keep this shit going, and, you know, hopefully a little bit of luck on our side tonight, you know, or, or whatever. But let's get this shit. Let's get this dub. Let's keep this shit rolling. Fins up, baby. All day, every day. Let's go. it.